Omar, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us on Good Morning Britain. Listen, you're the son of a, a Mexican and, uh, and a Cuban parents. Uh, you're an immigrant, and yet you support Trump building this wall. Explain that. Well, good morning, first of all, and thank you for having me on your show. It's greatly appreciated to have me on here today. You know, I support Trump because he represents the American dream. He represents the traditional values of Latinos and the entrepreneurial mind and what it is to achieve success in this country. And that's why I'm here and I'm supporting Trump. Right. Well, a lot of people think that the idea to build a physical wall between America and Mexico for the Mexicans to pay for it is just a really simplistic, almost sort of childish way to approach policy when actually the realities are you put a lot more investment into the the current system to make it uh, better and you you just treat people better well it, it's only a matter of national security uh, that's what the wall represents it's more of a symbol than than just a wall it represents a, a protection of our national security and that's what the wall does represent in our country He's talked about uh, Mexican immigrants in pretty disparaging terms, um, labeling them as criminals uh, and, and worse. But as you, as the, the son of a Mexican immigrant, someone who's obviously worked hard to get to where you've got to, don't you find that sort of talk unpleasant, offensive, disruptive and divisive? Well, first of all, when my, my, country, my family came here from Cuba and Mexico, you know, they, they came through a line just like everybody else, you know, and they took their time in the process, but it was legal. And, you know, how would you feel if, you know, someone cut the line? There's a process to everything, and sometimes you have to follow the laws and the rules of each country. You know, I wouldn't want, you know, I don't, I don't think anybody would want someone else to break the law into someone else's country and to get in the country illegally. You have to go in through a process. There is a process to everything. You have to obtain it legally, not um, illegally. Uh, yeah, I mean, whoever wins next week, it's going to leave an America that is very divided. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we've heard lots of... Um, rhetoric, I suppose, of if Trump doesn't get in, uh, there could be, you know, people going to arms and all of that sort of thing. I mean, how seriously do you take the repercussions of what happens next week? What could happen in America, no matter whoever gets in? Well, you know, first of all, we have to worry about Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, you know, right now is going through a process, an FBI investigation. You know, we need to worry about a, the, a, new, a, cur a leader that could happen, that could become the president of the United States, could end up going to jail. And that's going to be a serious cause of effect that's going to happen in this country. Are we willing to sacrifice and put ourselves in a situation where we're going to have the president to end up in jail? And that's going to be a question that the American public is going to have to question. Do you and feel, we have to see that. Do you feel, Omar, with the polls so narrow this morning that a Trump victory is in sight? In my heart, I believe that Trump is doing very well. Trump has so much support across California, and California has been such a blue state, and California has been actually very shifted. I've been going to city, the inner cities, we're talking about in Los Angeles, Hollywood Boulevard, homeless people have been supporting Trump. You know, there was a case on YouTube where a homeless was being, uh, it, it w was rights were being taken away, people were attacking the homeless person just because the homeless person had a Trump sign saying that Trump would create jobs and create opportunity for the American public. Okay. No one should have their right of free speech taken away from well, them. It's and that was wrong. Yeah, it's interesting to see what will happen um, in the days following the election. Omar, thanks very much for joining us on the program yeah. this morning. I mean, it highlights, doesn't it, that you can't predict which way people are going to go, no matter what their ethnicity is, no matter what their class is, no matter what their education is. It could go either way. Back home, are you like this superstar? You're the Madonna <laughs> of Britney <laughs> Spears, isn't it? Are you? I don't know. I don't know, because I've been here, and I don't want to go back. <laughs>